The story is called Alexander's Bad, Lousy, No Good, Awful Day. And the author of this story is Judith Violist. Alexander's sign name is an A, tapping on the side of the forehead. So I'm Alexander and I'm going to tell you this story. Last night I went to sleep, and I had forgotten to take my gum out of my mouth. So what happened is the next morning I woke up, the gum had fallen out of my mouth and was stuck into my hair. I tried to pull it out, but I could not. So I was like, okay, whatever. So I got out of bed, and I immediately slipped and fell, because I had left my skateboard next to my bed the other day. So then I walked into the bathroom, and I was going to change my clothes. But I had realized that my clothes fell into the sink, and the water had been dripping all night, so my clothes were soaked. I was so upset. So I knew, I had a feeling that it was going to be a bad, lousy, no good, awful day. So my brother, he had a box of cereal and that morning he found a toy car inside at the bottom. I was like, wow, that's cool. So then my other brother, he looked inside of his cereal box and he also found something cool. He found an awesome ring that you could twist around. I was so fascinated. So then I picked up my box of cereal, all excited to look inside, but I ruffled through the cereal and realized that there was no toy in my box. All that was in there was cereal. I was super depressed. So then I thought, I need to move to Australia. And then, you know what happened? I went to school. So uh, the bus came, and I got on the bus. And all of the window seats were taken. So that means that I had to take a middle seat. So I was sitting down, and there were people on both sides of me, and I was super crowded. And I told the bus driver, if I get sick, I'm going to need to be by a window so I can puke out the window. But he didn't listen to me. So I really now knew that it was going to be a bad, awful, lousy, no good day. So then at school, I had art class. So I had drawn this nice picture on an easel of this ghost-looking creature. Now the boy next to me, Paul, had drawn a simple drawing of a boat. Well, the teacher came and looked at both of our pictures, and he's like, Wow, Paul, that's really good. And he looked at mine and wasn't that impressed. I was so down. So what happened next is after art class was finished, it was time for me to go to math class and practice counting. So I thought, okay, I can do this. I can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, and the teacher was like, hey, you forgot 16. I was so deflated. I was like, whatever, I don't care about number 16. So I really knew that it was going to be a bad, lousy, no good, awful day. So how did I know? Well, my friend Paul, right? When it was... Oh, he came up to me and told me that I wasn't going to be his friend anymore. And I was like, we've been best friends up till now. What's the problem? And he said, too bad. This person's my friend first, and then this person's my friend second, and you're third on my list. I was so upset. It's like, come on, I'm third on your list. Then finally I was like, I don't care, whatever. Then I told him that I hoped he sat in something sharp. And I also told him that if he got ice cream today, I hoped that his top scoop fell off into the ground and he couldn't eat it. I was so mad. 
So then when it was lunchtime, one of the boys got cookies in his lunchbox to eat for dessert, and another friend got a chocolate bar. And Paul's mom brought these dessert rolls, and inside was this icing in a swirl. And on the outside of the rolls was this coconut. So I was super excited, looked inside my lunchbox, and then realized that my mom had forgotten to even pack me a dessert. I was like, man, this is a bad, lousy, no good, awful day. So, you want to know why else it was awful? Well, my mom also told me that I had to go to the dentist after school. And I hate the dentist. Ugh. So my siblings and I go to the dentist. And my oldest sibling has perfect teeth. My other brother, also perfect teeth. Me, not so much. I have a cavity inside my mouth that needs to get fixed. So the dentist told me that I needed to come back this next week and get it taken care of. And I said, well, I'm going to Australia. I can't get it fixed. I was so grouchy. But after the dentist was finished, I was ready to get into the elevator to go back down. And I started to walk out, and the elevator door slammed on my foot. It hurt so badly. I was so grouchy. 